be it used plastic bag, broken glass, obsolete cell phone, or used battery cells. They are all used products that require appropriate disposal to limit their harm to the environment. According to the World Bank report, the average global municipal solid waste generation per person on daily basis is about 1.2 kg and the figure is expected to rise up to 1.5 kg by 2025. It therefore means that every state and local authority suffer the problem of effective waste disposal due to the generation of too much waste. There are even products known to contain toxic chemicals such as biphenyl A that is also called BPA. Landfills are also a problem as well. In the long term, landfills leak and pollute groundwater. They also give off potentially unsafe gases. So we had to figure out how to work together as a planet to bring this amount of solid waste down. Do you have any idea how can we do it? What should we do to solve this problem? We are going to explain you some solutions and alternatives to the landfills that are happening on a global scale. Like recycling. Materials such as boot products, steel and aluminum, plastics and particularly glasses can all be recycled in order to regain some utility from the used product. Waste to energy incineration can also be an option. This is a process that uses waste as a fuel in order to create energy. The downside of this process is that additional greenhouse gases in the form of carbon dioxide are created. Currently, these plants are operational in British Columbia and Alberta. One more alternative can be anaerobic digestion. This is a process by which bacteria and other microorganisms can break down organic waste without the need of oxygen and open air. It is seen as a renewable energy process which uses waste to create methane among other products. This methane can be used to power various engines. Did you know about composting? That is also called organic waste recycling. This is a process that allows biological waste such as rotten food to break down naturally. And this process can also be a solution of waste problems. This allows for organic waste to be recycled rapidly and be turned into fertilizer, which can be used in farming. Now we are going to talk about the advanced technologies like pyrolysis which uses high temperature to break down organic waste into smaller portions which can then be disposed of more easily. Another process known as plasma arc gasification that catalyzes organic matter into synthetic gases and molten slag. The slag can then be used as a solid for construction material and other purposes. These processes are still in development stages so we can hope more from them in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned valuable things. If yes, then click on the like and share button quickly and subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.